I won't begin this project from zero, but I will use a silicon gun. Some of you have probably noticed that the silicon gun working system is similar to the system that one-handed clamps use to tighten and hold our workpieces. When we press the lever, it moves a metallic plate that bites and pushes the metallic rod. That other lever blocks the rod, and if we push it, it releases the rod so we can move it back. In this video I will install two jaws in this silicon gun, so I can use it as a one-handed clamp. To make the moving jaw I put this aluminum piece there, at 90 degrees with the rod, and I draw the rod shape on the aluminum. I will cut it that height, and there I will give it that shape. To make the fixed jaw I use another aluminum piece, and I draw the shape I need on the aluminum. I will cut it at the same height, and I have to cut the bottom of both pieces, and in this case I have to make there a vertical cut. This aluminum piece can be cut with a marquetry saw. But I also have to make some work with the grinder and with a file, to make them fit better. I will put a piece of plywood to each side of the aluminum so I have to cut them to the right shape. Actually, they will also cover some parts of the gun around the aluminum piece. I cut it bigger, because I also have to cut a rivet to fit in the T-shape I have in the front of the aluminum piece. I cut the rivet there, and I also need to cut a triangular shape to fit in that triangular shape that protrudes to each side. I use a chisel to cut the rivet to fit in the T-shape of the aluminum piece. And I also cut the triangular shape. You can see I don't cut the first triangle I drew before. Luckily sometimes I measure twice before I began to cut. The aluminum goes there, and the piece of plywood goes here and I have another almost identical piece of plywood, and I put it in the other side of the aluminum piece, and like that all three pieces fit in place. To make the moving jaw I also cut two pieces of plywood. I draw the shape, and I also draw the curved shape that the silicone gun has in the end of the rod. And now I use a Dremel tool to carve the shape I need to fit the end of the rod in. Now I can use the chisel to cut the rebait. I have to retouch that so the rod fits in. And I also have to make a similar piece to put in the other side of the aluminum piece. Now I can mix some epoxy. And first I will glue the moving jaw parts. 
I apply some epoxy to the surface of one plywood piece and to the corresponding surface of the aluminum piece. I put them in their place and I apply some epoxy in the other face of the aluminum and in the other plywood piece. I clamp them in place, making sure the front of the pieces are at 90 degrees with the rod, and I spread the epoxy excess. Now I will glue the fixed jaw parts. These pieces are more difficult to put in the right position. And I must make sure the epoxy don't fall on the levers or on the rod. I let it dry overnight and now I can remove the clamps. You can watch in my channel in YouTube how I improved those chip clamps. Now I will put a piece of plywood in front of each jaw. But first I have to get rid of the excess of wood and epoxy in the front of both jaws. There we can see that one piece is not aligned with the others. I mix more epoxy and I apply it to the front of both jaws. I put there a piece of paper, to make sure the epoxy won't fall on the rod. I put both pieces of plywood in between both jaws, and I clamp them. I mix more epoxy and I use it to close all the gaps and imperfections. I let it dry overnight, and now I can retouch it to make it look more nice. Carefully I cut the plywood that protrudes the sides of both jaws. Now I use the belt sander to shape it. some light sanding and it is ready. It tightens hard in the bottom, but if I put the piece in the top, the rod deforms, so the jaws are not perfectly parallel. It doesn't clamp as hard as the usual clamps with the screw. Anyway, it clamps quite hard. This one-handed clamp is very handy when we need to use one hand to hold the workpiece before we clamp it. And it is very easy to release. 
Thanks for watching. You can find all my voodoo working videos in my channel in YouTube. And if you like my videos, thanks for subscribing to my channel.